what is going on today I hope you guys are having a good day it's been a few days I'm back I want to show y'all something today is a very very good day uh, this whole week man I've been extremely excited and extremely happy um, if you cannot tell by the title of the video yes uh, I, we did go ahead and get another vehicle on the channel uh, for those of you that are already following the Instagram and if you're not make sure you follow the Instagram because they always get first sneak peeks on everything pretty much I do uh, you, for those on the Instagram, you know what this video is about. For those of you that are not or don't have an Instagram, you're going to find out today. Uh, extremely excited. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and give me a thumbs up because that helps the channel out so much. Uh, today is weird, okay? So I'm going to show you guys in a second. It's, it, it, it snowed slash like iced overnight. I checked the weather yesterday. It wasn't even supposed to like rain until Saturday. And then I woke up this morning and there was snow all over the yard. And then now it's in it stopped and now the snow is already melting like it's weird as I don't know what's going on Let me, I'll show you guys real yeah so I don't know what in the hell is going on but it turned into a winter wonderland now it's clear it's already melting like all of here was covered in snow before I left work and then it's already starting to melt and it's like weird I don't know uh, but yes yeah, so yeah we're back um you guys, I'm extremely excited about this. I'm really happy. Uh, I am going to be doing videos on this vehicle on the channel. Um, I think a lot of y'all would like it. Uh, quick tip, it is a gasoline vehicle. Um, but I'm still excited about it. Uh, ever since I was a little kid, man, uh, you know, what what year? Uh, you know what? Let me just show you out the car, okay? you guys this is it man um this is a 1995 chevy impala ss uh extremely rare car i, I can sit here and i'm i'm not trying to make the video long because i want to show you guys some other stuff too but i could talk about this car probably for an hour easily um this is since i was a little kid since all about the benjamins i watched all about the benjamins with ice cube and mike epps um i wanted one of these cars so bad uh, and they've always been extremely expensive, man. I'm to, and, or that or the condition is horrible. I finally had the opportunity, um, and I was able to get one. And I'm so blessed, and I'm so grateful, and happy, and excited to have one of these finally. I mean, this is the one I wanted. This color is the one I wanted. They made these in three colors. So if you didn't know, quick backstory: the Impalas. Old, you know, everybody knows the Impalas from the '60s and the Lowriders and stuff. Uh, back in the 80s, GM stopped making Impalas. They only made the Capris for about, they stopped making Impalas for about 14, 15 years. And then in 1994, they came back out with the B-Body style. This is a B-Body style Impala um, SS. They only made it for three years, 94, 95, 96. Each year, they added a color. So first year, they only had a black one, which looked, it was murdered out. It was sick. Second year, they came out with this. I call it a teal color, but it's a beautiful color. I love this color because it's so unique. Um, and then third year they came out with a color called black cherry which is kind of a lot of people say just call it purple but it's like a reddish with a uh, purplish color it's a, it's a beautiful color it's like with burgundy in there check it out if you haven't uh the instagram's been blowing up man people seeing this car man and a lot of people are like man that's my dream car man i've been i love those cars you know i, I trust me i've already got the dudes hate me as talking about do a 12 valve swap put a 24 i'm like man you guys are crazy um what makes this car so iconic is that they made it for only three years 
and this car has the LT1 engine okay now that was the predecessor to the LS series engine that is still currently going today um, GM back then they had the LT1 engine which was the same engines that went into the cop cars the 5.7 liter the only and also in the Corvette and the Camaros the only difference between this LT1 and the one in the Corvette are the heads the heads are different so this makes more torque less horsepower the Corvette engine made more more horsepower a little less torque uh, back in 94 this car made a whopping 260 horsepower with 300 foot pounds of torque it's about a 4,000 pound car but I tell you what this car pulls man and and this is I hate to say it but this is a little bit more fun right now probably because I'm still amped up than driving the Cummins as much as I love the Cummins and you guys know that she's my baby and she ain't going nowhere and I'm gonna we're gonna be giving her a little break but driving not making videos but this car is a blast uh, it actually gets good mileage uh, I went to Charlotte North Carolina which is about four hours away for me to pick it up and um, it drove it back with a full tank it only burned a quarter of a tank for a four-hour trip which is pretty impressive uh, this car the, the person I got it for a man uh, he was an awesome dude he took care of this car he bought it back in 2007 off a dealership and garage kept it for 10 almost you know over 10 years man and, and he did he did what needed to be done to it you know he, the engine is immaculate I'm gonna show you guys the engine here in a little bit uh, the paint is original this is the original 1994 GM paint um, yeah I know shocker right and it's it's my god this car just screams sh that old school Chevy that Chevy meanness, man. Uh, back in the day, dude, I'm talking when Chevy was making, when they were dominating, uh, this was one of their milestones. And believe it or not, I honestly, in my opinion, I feel like this is the predecessor to the current day Dodge Chargers, all right? Um, a four-door sedan that can still get down with it. You can still, it's, it could be a family car that you can still have fun in. And that's really what the Charger is today. I'm talking, you can get a car with 430 horsepower pay 35 grand you know like that that doesn't happen often and dodge is doing that right now and dodge is taking advantage of it because right now chevy and ford has they have no answer to the dodge charger chevy tried to do the chevy ss but that was a fail uh, i really wish they would get back to making cars like this but you know new generation new people and you know time changes you know they're already talking about not making crossover or making automobiles cars no more they're talking about just ma mainly making suvs and crossovers because that's what's in demand yes and that's just one more reason why this car is going to be even more rare um it was an awesome deal he took care of it immaculate original ss wheels uh he went ahead and got all four corners of the brakes and get in there drilled and slotted uh brakes with, I believe they're like power stop or I don't remember exactly what type of uh, what type of brake pads he has but I have the box in there he gave me an extra set of brake pads for all four corners of the wheels which was incredible the car has an alarm remote start um, one second let me let me unlock it and show you guys the interior check that out interior is pretty good man it's in pretty good, good condition uh, that was super notorious the pla GM plastic back in the 90s was the material the whatever they were using to mold it and stuff it, it was known for changing colors uh, it even has the original mats in here I tried to shampoo it and get all these things out as best as can but man I got the armrest up right now no cracks in the dashboard I'm talking this is just screaming OG right here man and I've been through a lot of cars uh, since I was 16 um, and this one is one of them where it's like I can't believe I have one like I really cannot believe I have one I, I've I've waited so long and, and love these cars for oh, hold on you know I waited so long to get one of these cars man and, and it's awesome it is awesome it's clean I mean she's ready to go to California and back if I needed to right now I'll show you guys the engine real quick actually Here she is, man. Original LT1 V8 5.7 port fuel injection engine. Uh, this engine is solid, 123,000 original miles. This man, he took such good care of it. AC works, heater work, all the electrical features work. Um, this car is ridiculous. Brand new battery in it from December of last year. Uh, the only thing he did to the engine performance wise was he put a cold air intake on here, K&N, which I was gonna actually do anyways, but he did it already a long time ago. 
I just cleaned the filter. I took it off yesterday. I know it looks dirty in the in the video, but it's not as clean. I took it off, cleaned it out yesterday, oiled it, put it back in. Uh, it's beautiful. Doesn't leak oil. Doesn't burn coolant. Uh, it's just a dream car, man. And I'm so I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for summer and spring to come, where the weather is not shitty. We get you know I can. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm telling you, man. So let me go ahead and uh, crank her up for you guys, so you guys can hear her start up. She has original dual pipes, if you can see them, right there and right there. She has that remote start, so all you gotta do, one sec, there we go. That nice, just a nice, super low, it has X-pipe, dual, dual X-pipes from the cat back, dual exhaust. Um, just a sweet, clean car, man. I'm telling you guys, we're gonna be doing some, some simple, but yet, cool stuff to this car uh, we're gonna have fun so definitely man oh yeah she's idling man that remote start is pretty cool because I haven't had a vehicle remote start since I used to have my power stroke so it's pretty cut pretty tight like I said 123 original 123,000 original miles it's pretty awesome if I want to turn her off I can just put my foot on the brake cut her off so she's clean man so you guys if you enjoyed this part of the video so far we're not done yet I still got a few more things I want to show you if you enjoyed this part of the video please do that favor smash that thumbs up on the video and also make sure you subscribe to the channel because now if you're a if you like gasoline cars and stuff like that we have something on the channel now where we're gonna be doing uh, little things here and there I'll make videos talking about what's the future plans and you know every time I do little updates and stuff to it, it tr this car is not gonna take over the channel uh, but it's gonna be an addition uh, we all know my pride and joy Cummins over here is the queen of the channel she it will be unless she gets replaced which is probably not gonna happen no time soon so now I want to show you guys something else, a product I purchased online, Amazon, and it's really good. Uh, like I said, you guys know I'm pretty big into detailing and keeping my cars clean and stuff. You know my truck's a mess right now, long story short. Uh, but I bought something for the paint, and it's really cool. Um, I'm going to show you guys it. I'm going to show you how it works, and I think it's freaking awesome. And I will have a link down below for the product if you guys want to check it out online uh, or if you want to pick yourself some up. Uh, but let me show you what I'm talking about, okay? All right, you guys, so what we have here is something called Sonax is the name of the company. This is German. Uh, it's made in Germany. Sonax Spray and Seal. This is a touchless spray on sealant. So what does that mean? First of all, sealant. Sealant is pretty much going to lock in and put a layer of protection over your bare, your, your base coat, your, your paint, okay? Uh, it's going to be super hydrophobic, and I already did this side of the car, which is why if you get up close to it, you can see these ridiculous beads and I, I even sprayed the rims man you can spray this stuff on the body the glass plastic anything pretty much and it will not damage or harm anything and it's so easy I did the roof as well too super hydrophobic man you guys know I'm into detailing stuff so I like to try new products all the time uh, and it's actually not a bad deal for this right here uh, I got two bottles and a microfiber for like 30 bucks on Amazon so this side now this car he had something done to it. He had a sealant or something put on the car. Or it might even be ceramic coated. I don't even know. But he has some type of sealant put on it. So the car is already pretty hydrophobic. But this side, and I got my water hose here. I want you guys to look at the paint. Um, this side, yes, it's super hydrophobic already. And when I spray it down, I want you to look at how the water comes off. Okay. You see how it sheets off like that? Now, the way the water is running off, that's called sheeting, all right? So if I spray it, it sheets off, even here in the bottom corner, okay? Now, you can see a distinct difference in the hood. Left side has the Sonax spray and seal on it, the right side does not. Um, I already did the bumper and the grill and stuff already. I'm going to spray the hood. I'm gonna spray down the hood and the side and we're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the difference, okay? So take a mental note of how that looks right. All right, so all this is how simple it is. So once you wash your vehicle, and I washed this last night, it just happened to snow. Uh, once you wash your vehicle, no crap, this is all you do. And like I said, you can spray it on anything, anything you want, man. Uh, it will not harm it. Notice how when I'm spraying it, the water's already starting to run down. 
you spray it and rinse it. All right, I'm gonna do this side too. Check this out, man. It is badass. All right, so we got it all on this side. So now all you do, you get your hose. If I can find mine, right here. You get your hose and you spray her down. If the hose will cooperate, Rinse it off. Check that out. Look at that. Look at that right there. Did y'all just see that? That is freaking. And then when you go up, now I'm not an advocate of touching my paint with my fingers because I don't want to reduce scratches, but you run your hand along it and it feels like glass. It's ridiculous. Uh, here, let's go ahead and rinse this off too. Oh my goodness, man. Look at that. Now you remember this same spot was sheeting, the water was sheeting on here. And now it's freaking just running off like a river. Awesome stuff. Um, I actually have my, my air hose and we're gonna see how easy it is to, for the water to come. All right, so I thought I was recording, but I didn't. But what I just recorded and thought I was recording, or what I thought I was recording, I was trying to show how easy it is for the water to come off. Cause I got my air chuck here. You can see where I blew off all the water here. And like now it's pretty dry. I can show you here real quick. Look how easy the water comes off the car. Just flying off right now. It's like the water does not want anything to do with sitting on this car, and, and that's what you want, man. That's what you want when you you're trying to keep your paint good. You know, you know, because by water sitting on your car, it can lead to things such as moisture, rust, and all that stuff. And then the thing is, is you don't want water spots. Uh, water spots can mess your clear up, damage your paint. So this right here is a really good product, uh, Sonax Spraying Seal. I got this online. I found out about it through YouTube. And I know there's a lot of other spray sealants out there, but something as simple as you spray it on and rinse it off. No rags, no rubbing, no buffing, no nothing. Just spray and rinse. It's pretty, you get your bang for your buck. And then it leaves an immaculate gloss shine to it. You know what I'm saying, man? So let's see if you guys can see me. Yeah, you see me? Yeah. Hey. So yeah, man. It's pretty cool stuff. I love. It. Now, as for the Cummins, you probably, you guys are probably all wondering, dude, what's gonna happen? Nothing's gonna happen to her. She's going to be okay. Uh, I have actually a product coming in today, UPS, hopefully, uh, and I'm gonna be installing it on the tailgate. You, I think you guys are gonna really like it. So, next video, make sure you're on the lookout. I'll, I'm gonna try to drop that video tomorrow to you guys. Uh, but she's doing good, no problems. Turbo's doing good, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, Sonax spray and seal, awesome stuff. Will be links will be uh, bleh, links will be down below for it if you guys are interested in it. Along with, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean that's it, man. It's a car. Uh, she's awesome. So once again, if you guys stuck it out to the end and enjoyed this video, please do me that huge favor. Give me a thumbs up for a like. Subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of stuff coming on, going on this uh, upcoming spring, summer. So we're gonna be doing stuff. Uh, you know, let me know. What you guys think? Uh, we're, all right, I'm not trying to be a dick or nothing, but right off the bat, I'm not putting 24s on here. I'm not putting a 12 valve or Cummings in the engine. So save your comment unless you absolutely want to comment it. Um, but yeah, uh, things to do for it. I'll make a video later. I don't want to drag this video out, but that's it. So until next time, you guys take it easy. Thanks for watching. Thank you for the support. I appreciate you guys. Uh, and stick around because we're going to have some awesome stuff and, and possibly a potential giveaway. Peace out.